Every year, pounding rains wash away tons of plastic waste from the streets. Some of these ends up getting discharged into water bodies. An estimated 150 million tons of plastic are circulating in the world's oceans according to US-based Ocean Conservancy. In Indonesia alone, 6,20,000 tons of plastic are dumped into its waterways annually, thus making it the world's second biggest marine waste contributor. The government is looking at ways to cut it down by two-thirds over the next five years. Authorities and scientists are now turning to satellite tracking to tackle the problem. They say following the waste's movement will help understand the full extent of the situation. The process would be useful in collecting the waste based on seasonal, wind and water current patterns. The project is a collaboration between a team from Indonesia's Maritime Affairs Ministry and CLS, a subsidiary of France's Space Agency. Since February, the team has deployed satellite beacons at the mouths of rivers around Jakarta. These GPS beacons help in understanding how the plastic debris gets into the sea. The device is wrapped in a waterproof cover and tossed into water bodies which then empties itself. These trackers have a one-year battery life and can follow where the trash gathers. Data collected by the beacons are transmitted hourly to a satellite that sends the information to CLS headquarters. The information is then sent to Indonesia's Maritime Affairs Ministry. Authorities hope to identify plastic drift and observe how it accumulates. This will allow them to better deploy waste management measures such as equipping the location with waste collecting traps. However, the most important aspect is to identify when the debris comes into contact with marine animals. This could be beneficial in reducing the plastic ingestion by these animals to a large extent.